Hey guys, it's Tawanda here, the African Drone Professional. I know I haven't done a video in a long time, but there's been so much going on. And I thought like, let me just do this video and just give you a quick update on what's been happening over the last few weeks. So I've just come back from a trip to Nairobi, Kenya, where I spent about two and a half weeks. And wow, what an experience it was. Nairobi, Kenya is just an amazing place. And I would encourage you, if you haven't been there, make sure you go. Kenya is famous for two things, tea and tech. And here's the tea. So this is one of the tea that I got for my trip to Kenya. And the thing about Kenyan tea is that they have so many amazing options of different teas that they have on offer. And I brought back quite a bunch of this stuff because I just love Kenyan tea. So thank you guys for the tea in Kenya. Now let's talk about the tech. Now looking at tech, like Kenya is actually known as one of the leading markets or spaces of, of technology, or they call it like Silicon Valley for Africa kind of you know, type of thing. So in Kenya, there's so much stuff happening within the tech space and you know, different things, whether it's FinTech or, or all sorts of different tech. Now looking specifically at drone tech, it's just the same. They're really moving and they're really advancing. And for me, I got to see it firsthand and I'm really encouraged. And without a doubt, I can say this to you. Kenya is one of the fastest growing drone markets in Africa. And why am I saying this? So when I went to Kenya, I was hosted by my good friend, uh, Tony Mwangi. And initially what I'd gone for just primarily was to look at drone training and to see how they're advancing in terms of their drone training programs. My good friend Tony runs a training school called Drone Space and they're the leading drone uh, technology training school um, in, in Kenya at the moment. I'm here in Nairobi, Kenya with my good friend uh, Tony. We're here at uh, Drone Space uh, Airfield and I'm really, really excited, really, really happy and grateful and just thankful to Tony and his team for allowing us to come here uh, to Nairobi, Kenya and just see what Drone Space is doing. And um, we're really, really encouraged by what we've seen, just uh, the professionalism, the way they've run their, their theoretical training and the practical training this week. Uh, today the, the students had their skills test and it was really really encouraging to just to see the standard and the quality of training that's going on. Now on top of that they're doing amazing work in terms of advancing when it comes to adding on different programs that are relevant for people who want to upskill themselves as drone professionals and I'm really 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 excited and really encouraged by what I saw there. I got I had a chance to sit in some of the theory training courses and see how the instructors are actually delivering some of the programs and I mean it's really top-notch kind of training. I also then got to interact with some of the students at the practical uh, training field and while I was there I got to see you know how the students are doing and some of the, the training process that they go through. And on one of the days when I was out there at the airfield uh, during the training session I met up with one of the lead inspectors from the Kenya Civil Aviation Authority. I had a very good chat with him and he was telling me all about the different things that they're doing just as uh, the civil aviation as well as the government to try and encourage the advancement of drone technology in Kenya. This in itself was encouraging for me because that's something that I've been talking about so much to say we need to have the government, we need to have the regulator be involved in creating an enabling env environment for, for drone innovation to advance. It's not enough for the regulators just to regulate and tell us about the rules and all that kind of stuff. They have to create an environment that encourages innovation. And this is something that I saw in Kenya. So well done to Tony and your team and well done to Kenya Civil Aviation. Also to add to that, the Kenyan government itself, right now is in the process of building a, a tech city, right, uh, within Nairobi. And within that space, they're actually going to be passing out and creating a space for drone innovation and development to take place. So a lot of the things we talk about is creating a space where drone innovators, people who want to manufacture, people who want to test, whether it's BV loss, which is beyond visual line of sight operations, or any kind of cargo drone delivery testing, that needs to happen, they need to have a space where they can do that. And Kenya is in the process of actually carving out a space where people can actually do that. And can you imagine having your government do that for you, create a space like that for you? That's exactly what we need. And I'm really encouraged that Kenya is doing that. While I was also there, I got to meet up with a good friend of mine, Anne Derutu. Now, Anne is doing amazing work. Anne is the co-founder of Swift Labs. And at Swift Labs, what they're doing is they're actually manufacturing drones. They're probably the only or the leading drone manufacturer, Kenyan drone manufacturer in Kenya. And they've built a prototype, which is a fixed wing a VTOL drone, which actually operates and flies. And right now they've completed testing of that in terms of the actual flight ops. Now they're testing, it, testing their payloads to see uh, the size of payload that it can carry. And they're looking at getting into probably the uh, cargo delivery space, be it with healthcare or anything else. And I'm really encouraged by what I saw. And I just want to say to Anne and, and your team, well done keep going and we're really going to be cheering you on and we want to see you guys thrive we want to see your product 
now becoming something that can be exported because we're definitely going to be there to support it and hopefully get one of our own. Now, this is amazing work that's going on in Kenya and I couldn't go to, go to Kenya without obviously going to the Flying Labs. So I went and visited our brothers and sisters at Kenya Flying Labs. Now, because we're part of Flying Labs, right? Here in Zimbabwe, as the Zimbabwe Flying Labs, we had to make sure that we spent time with our family in Kenya. So at Kenya Flying Labs, I took some time out to go and meet with them, to connect with them, to just share and exchange notes about what's happening in the East African market, the opportunities there, and how we can collaborate and exchange uh, just in terms of our skill set and our knowledge to build the network and move it forward. While I was there, they asked me to actually do a training and teach them about the Drones and STEM Education Program, which we've just launched in Zimbabwe. They're really excited about the work that we're doing with drones in education here in Zimbabwe and how we're reaching young learners and how this program is designed in such a way that it's literally going to transform the future of work. So we did the training with them, we shared with them the information, we shared them, uh, the curriculum with them, and they're about to start ro rolling out the program that we've developed here in Zimbabwe in Kenya. I'm really excited about that because our goal is to reach so many young learners, not only in Zimbabwe, but across Africa. And I'm looking forward to doing more with Kenya Flying Labs and actually doing other projects and other work, other work in the social and humanitarian space. My trip to Kenya was fun. You can hear it from the way I'm speaking. I really liked it. I really just enjoyed meeting also drone operators and drone pilots who have recently graduated and gotten their pilot licenses and seeing how they're looking forward to getting involved with drones and construction. There's so much construction and engineering work going on in Kenya. Roads are being built, bridges, there's a lot of infrastructure going on there. And the way they're looking at bringing in drone technology, be it for 3D modeling or, or mapping or just creating data sets that can help to advance these projects, to monitor them, is something that's really encouraging. Agriculture is also a big space and Kenya is known for uh, a lot of the work that they do in terms of uh, agriculture and bringing drones into that space is something that's actually now becoming more and more prevalent, especially now that they have the regulations in place. So this is really encouraging, uh, just seeing what's happening in Kenya and seeing also the way they moved. Kenya only got their regulations uh, uh, in place in April 2020. That's literally just you know over a year ago. And in that time, in that space, they've actually put in place five drone training schools, five already. The ROCs, they're actually also giving out ROCs now, and it's not taking as long as we've seen in other countries. This is really encouraging, and this is why I'm saying they have the, one of the fastest growing uh, drone technology industries across Africa. The, the, the opportunities are so many, and they're creating an environment that's allowing people to get involved in this space. I'm really encouraged by this, and I want to see more African, African countries doing this. Before the end of the year is out, I'll be traveling to other African countries and seeing what they're doing and how their drone industry is moving because I have to, I'm the African drone professional. Thank you guys for watching this video. I'll be sharing more about what we're doing now that I'm back here in Zimbabwe and I'm really encouraged and I look forward to telling you more and showing you more about how we're transforming the future of work with drone technology.